You felt your face flush as you slowly opened your eyes to look at Tate. That's weird. <laughs> That's... Weird. <laughs> the King of Hearts. Was that right? Well, now you're too lucky. Oh my god, I did it! You don't gotta worry about nothing. What? Hi everybody, I'm Degenerate, and welcome back to Frostbite. I'm playing this. I was informed <laughs> by someone I know that I didn't even... I was this close to the end. So we're just gonna finish off where... Like, finish it off, and then we're gonna do choices we didn't make. Like, before. We're gonna do it over again. So, we're back with this man what was the question then go back what was the question oh he asked if we gamble we got it we got it go back no actually and we're gonna do this again too like pick opposite choices you shake your head no you weren't going to play his twisted games and you had no desire to gamble for your life this isn't kakegurui after all well, that's too bad. Okay. You see, I'm not really giving you a twist here. I didn't think you were. I kind of just answered the question, that's all. So you can hate it all you want. This ain't about what you want. Okay. So you're gonna play this- Oh. <laughs> Violence. You didn't have time to register exactly what he was getting at before he was holding up three evenly spaced cards in front of you. The rules are simple. I bet. Just pick my favorite card out of those three and you win? I'm not supposed to know which one's your favorite card. Wait, which- <laughs> Which one's your favorite card? You'll know if you pick it. Now, won't you? Gosh, I'm scared. What if it changes every time? Um, I'm gonna go for the left, since I'm left-handed. The left card. It looked back and forth from the card to you. His eyes lighting up as he flipped the card around. Ooh, it's an ace of, uh, spades. The ace of spades, huh? That's too bad. This ain't my favorite card. Dang. Apologies. Never been much of an ace guy. Too predictable. Every wannabe card shark says the aces are their card. Oh, hey, hey, Shaw. Don't look so down and out. In the first round. I thought that was practice. Oh, <laughs> go nice and slow. Uh, Tate moved closer to you, his hands pressing firmly against your thighs. Why? For leverage as he leaned down to hover over your hand. You snapped your eyes shut. You had no idea what he was going to do to you, but you didn't want to see it. You held your breath and waited for the inevitable pain that was surely to come. Instead of pain, you felt something soft and warm grazing your knuckles. Hmm. You felt your face flush as you slowly opened your eyes to look at Tate. That's weird. <laughs> That's... Weird. I wonder what would happen if you picked the right card. He was slowly running his tongue along each of your fingers until he reached your pinky. Taking extra care of like each joint. That is so weird. The blush painting your face grew deeper as you felt where the man's hands was going. His fingers creeping their way up to, up to your inner thigh and squeezing it softly. You knew you shouldn't be enjoying this, but you couldn't help but feel the warm building in your core as he took care in massaging your leg. Uh, this is an interesting turn of events. Tate, um... <laughs> Tate suckled gently on your digit. 
his thick, warm lips running back and forth through your, up your finger. Goddamn. You could feel the teeth graze against your knuckles and you shivered. It was starting to feel really good. And you wanted to give it, uh, give in to him even though your mind screamed at you about your situation. This man looks like he's in pure ecstasy just from a f***ing finger. His mouth moved lower until almost your entire pinky was inside his mouth. <laughs> you felt his teeth push down a little harder against the knuckle, but your mind was spinning way too fast to process the pressure that was slowly growing. He's gonna bite your finger off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tate, that's, that's a little hard. And now the... The the pleasure quickly shifted to pain and panic as he bit down harder, his teeth grinding against your bone. You screamed and tried to yank your hand out of his mouth, only for his teeth to latch on harder until... Your scream echoed off the cold steel walls surrounding you. Your ears were ringing from the pain and the bowel was rising in your throat. Oh my gosh. Gross. You wanted to pass out to, uh, to escape the pain, but your body wouldn't let you as you felt your flesh and bones tearing from your hand. That is terrible. You heard your severed finger hit the ground with a bloody spat as Tate spat it out. You didn't want to look at him. Your vision was blurred from the pain and you couldn't regulate your breathing. Oh, come on now. Stop your crying. We ain't even, we ain't even started yet. That seems like a start to me. I mean, my pinky's gone. I would I would expect you to start eating it or something. I don't know. You just ripped it off. That was dumb. And it's not like he took an important finger. He took the pinky finger. <laughs> oh man. You could barely register what Tate was saying over the throbbing sound of your own heartbeat in your ears. Every beat sent a shock with a pain into your missing digit. No way that's what happens when you lose a round. Time for round two. What if I pick the um the left one? Oh my gosh. We have so much more planned for this full game and uh, I'm of course I'm gonna stick around these years. Oh no, it disappeared. I wanted to read the rest of it. A few moments later. Um we're gonna do this again. We're not gonna reread it, but we're gonna read the parts that I didn't, like the choices I didn't make. Well, let's do this again. There was like two minutes left of the thing. I should have just finished it. Dumb. Um, so after we talked to him, we just left. So let's, uh, oh no, wait. We know the speech for this. So let's ask how old he is. Can I ask how old you are? I'm sorry if that's intrusive, but you can't be much older than me, right? Isn't it a little dangerous to work so late? Wow, look at the good Samaritan. You want points for being thoughtful or something? No. God, this guy is a dick. Don't worry, I can get it. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Are you sure about that? And for the record, I'm a lot older than you. I'm a lot older than the guy in the back, too. Huh? That can't be. No way. He's got to be like 30 something. There's no way. How old's the guy in the back? 35. I was right. So how old are you? That didn't seem right. The guy in the front looked barely 25. How could he be almost or above 40? He probably like a year older. That's impossible though. From the looks of him, 35. He's older than 35 from the looks of him, didn't look like he was going to talk about this topic anymore. Maybe you can ask him something else, or maybe you should leave him alone. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, asking questions just to get enough, get some more information. Well, we obviously know he's not alone. Duh. Are you working here all alone? Seems kind of dangerous not to sound like a creep. Oh, you absolutely do. <laughs> okay. Though I don't expect much from weirdos that come in 20 minutes before closing time. Oh, sorry. I, I wouldn't want to. Yeah. 
You felt a pang of guilt realizing you came in close before closing. So, so close before closing. Normally you would have never done something so inconsiderate. Yeah, that's true. I would never do that. I worked in customer service, so I wouldn't. No. If they close at 12 and it's 1130, I'm not going there. No. I'll come back tomorrow. But these weren't exactly normal circumstances. That is true. It's whatever. Kind of used to it at this point. Believe it or not, this shitty little store gets a lot of activity in the summer. It's a good tourist location, I guess. I actually hate traveling or going to tourist destinations. I've seen what I need to see, so I'm good. To answer your earlier asinine question, no, I'm not alone. As much as I wish I was. I wish you were too. <laughs> no, I'm here with the stupid hot but. Huh? Oh, what? Um. No, I'm here. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry, let me recollect myself. No, I'm here with the stupid um hot butcher in the back. Well, at least he knows. That guy drives me up the wall with his stupid bulging muscles and his dumbass pretty hair. You said it, not me. He's not even from around here either. He's some moronic redneck <laughs> who just waltzed right in and was handed the job for being attractive. Who gave it to him? Who gave him the job? He's handsome? <laughs> no shit. I didn't say that. Okay. You said he was hot. <laughs> you can tell you weren't going to get any more information about the- okay. Maybe you can uh, ask him something else or maybe leave him, leave him alone. Um, well at least he knows he's attractive, so let's move on. Uh, we already know about the meat department thing, we know. So just, let's go. I can't skip until all the words are done. Let's lie. I'm from around here. You're not about to give a stranger any information about you. He might seem nice, but you don't know him at all. It'd be it'd be better to be safe. I've lived here my whole life. Yeah, just a bit down the way, you know. Just picking up groceries for my family before the big storm. Honestly, they're probably worried. Worried. Wait, what? I'm dumb. They're probably wondering where I am. They study for an uncomfortably amount. Uh, why? A Tate stared at you for an uncomfortable amount of time, his bright purple eyes feeling as if they were weighing your soul. You awkwardly shifted your weight, uh, shuffling nervously. Your eyes darted away from Tate's as if he could hear your thoughts. Tate's eyes suddenly darkened as if picking up on every small tell in your body. Ah, I see how it is then. <laughs> you're, a pre you're a pretty little liar, ain't you? No. What? What do you mean by that? You fumbled over your words awkwardly, shocked that he uh, picked up on your lie almost immediately. I don't know how the fuck he did that. That was pretty convincing, though. No? If I didn't care, I would think they were telling the truth. <laughs> but he seems to, seems to care, so... Reaching down, you quickly avoid eye contact by uh, pawing through the meat and tossing anything in your basket in a diversion to hopefully escape the conversation. Something about the grit in his voice was oozing danger and you had a feeling you needed to leave as soon as possible. Uh, Tate's booming laugh cut through the tension and made you jump. His demeanor shift was jarring and you were struggling to read him. Shit, I'm just messing with you. Don't get all spooked now. Years of gambling just made me a bit of a master at reading people. Besides, I've been living here long enough to have seen you by now. Oh, right, right, right. right. You were just being smart, weren't you? It'd be mighty stupid telling a big bad wolf where you live. No, wouldn't it? I don't think it would matter. I can respect that. Mm-hmm. His reassurance uh, eased your nerves slightly, but there was still a nagging feeling you couldn't uh, shake about this man. 
I need to stop saying uh so what's a cute thing like you doing out here so late anyway stop you glance behind you uh you damn it I did it again <laughs> you glance behind you towards the front doors of the store remembering how bad the snow was getting I'm just stocking up for the snowstorm aren't you worried you'll get snowed in here or anything it's coming down pretty hard uh, um, and the roads won't be safe for long oh is this the same Okay. Okay. Is he gonna... Okay, so the flirting doesn't happen. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. <sighs> Turn back around. You can't shake this feeling. You're being watched. Carefully sitting your grocery bag by the door. You back towards Vic's register. Everything is still the same. Wait. Is that blood? Oh. How did you not notice that before? Your heart drops and you can feel the hairs on your arm stand up. You can feel hungry eyes on you and you don't want to turn around. <sighs> wow, so because we lied. Dang. One choice really changes a lot. Uh oh. Donk. <laughs> you roll around and fa come face to face with the blunt end of an axe. And then everything went black. That's nice. Alright, so that's if we lie. I want to go back and do the, um... Be... Tell the truth. And then just... Uh, when he goes to get something to fix the door, I want to go follow him and see what happens. Let's skip all this. Let's say... Uh, yes... Oh no. Oh yeah, we can yell for help. I forgot. Yeah. I heard you scream. <laughs> oh honey, I heard you screaming for me. Just couldn't stand to be away, huh? Me too. Yikes. Uh, let's stay quiet so we don't have to see that line. Uh, you weren't about to talk to the psycho. That's probably what he wanted and you weren't going to give in. Turning your head, you broke eye contact, trying your hardest to strengthen your resolve. Oh, you're gonna talk to me, huh? Going the big bad wolf, how tough you are? I guess. I mean, why not? <laughs> Your body was shaking both out of fear and from the cold. You just hoped he'd get bored with you and let you go. No. Because as we have learned, people who get bored, they just simply kill you. So. No, we're not just gonna be let go. That's alright, I know ways to make you talk. Do you? How? Oh. Kate walk over, walked over to where Vic had, um, Vic laid cold on the floor. You didn't want to look, but it didn't help yourself from staring. You noticed you watching and chuckled lightly as if this was a normal situation. You worried about Vic? No. Okay, this is the same. Let's get to the gamble, and then we're gonna say yes. You shakily nodded your head, you weren't sure what he was getting at, but you might as well answer honestly. But we do gamble, like the player. He laughed and clapped his hands against your eye hard. He seemed rather pleased uh, with your answer as he shuffled through his cards again. Oh hell yeah. Then you're gonna have a blast with this. No I'm not. I'm sure you're used to gambling. For what? Money? Trinkets? Well, this is much more fun. You see, I ain't got uh, too much use for money. I got a job for that. Huh? I want something else. My finger, apparently. I want to I wanna take something more personal from you. Something we'll remember each other by. Now, don't, don't that sound sweet? I guess. You'd have time to register exactly what he was getting at before he was holding up three evenly spaced cards in front of you. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't change. The rules are simple. Okay. I just gotta pick one. I already picked the left. Um. All these cards are tattered up. I was gonna pick like the one that was the most tattered. Um. Let's just do the middle. See what happens. 
If all of them are the Ace of Spades, that's gonna be cheating on your end, Mr. Tate. Okay, look back and forth on the card, okay. His demeanor dropped as he flipped the card. Hey, it's the King of Hearts! The King of Hearts. Was that right? Well, now he's too lucky. Oh my god! I, got I was initially. Nah, no, no one's gonna believe me. <laughs> no one's gonna believe me. But I actually was gonna pick the middle until I was like, wait, let's just do. You know, my left hand. And my left, since I'm a left handed person. But I don't know. <laughs> but lucky only gets you so far, sweetheart. I don't take kindly to cheaters. I didn't cheat. In no way you picked right the first try. I didn't cheat! I was even willing to give you a practice guess to play nice. I didn't cheat! So you just had to cheat, huh? I didn't! <laughs> oh my gosh. How- That's what I'm saying. How could I have cheated? Because I'm playing again? No way he knows. Is this like a Doki Doki situation? What? How could I have possibly cheated? I picked it random. Uh-huh. I don't want to hear it. I know a cheater when I see one. Shut up. At this point, I think you're just dumb. Ain't no one guesses right in the first round. <laughs> it gotta be the f first time. Stop it! He's scaring me. Stop. I'll tell you what. I'm a nice man. I was about to give you something first. No tricks. You can trust me. No. Tate moved closer to you, his hands pressing firmly against your thigh for leverage as he leaned down, hovering. Okay, don't do this. You snapped your eyes shut. Had no idea what he was gonna do, but you didn't want to see it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Set a pain. Okay, so he just does the same thing. Hopefully he doesn't like, you know? He looks so different here. <laughs> like, mm-mm, that does something different to, um, uh, Arts. What do you mean by that? He still does it? Hey, yeah. That's not fair. I won. He's such a you're a cheater. Uh, load. Okay, we're just gonna load because this is the one where we could check. Because there's no need to change what we you know. Because if we lie, we automatically. So yeah. We're gonna go look for him. He was thinking, wait, this is when we're nice. We, we don't lie. Basically our save from last time. He was taking way too long and you were starting to worry. You glanced around the area one more time before heading towards the aisles to the freezers. Still no sign of Tate. You hope nothing bad happened to him. There was still an eerie feeling you couldn't quite shake. Tate? Where are you, honey? My schnookums. You called out and waited. No response. You were really starting to worry now. You didn't even notice the heavy footsteps behind you over the sound of your own heartbeats. Oh, poor little rabbit. Did you miss me that much? I guess. You whipped around to see t uh, Tate. Um, damn. You whipped around to see Tate standing right behind you, his chest almost touching you. <laughs> really? As he loomed uh, down over you. Oh my god, I thought something bad had happened to you. You have to stop sneaking up on me like this. You were worried about little old me? Nah, I was worried about big old you. You don't gotta worry about nothing. What? Oh my gosh. What a huge turn off. I'm not saying that. I'm just gonna call him Big Wolf. I think that's better than what's behind what's in between those two words. Big Wolf can protect himself. Tate had that was so terrible. Never say that again, my love. Please. For this- for me. Yeah. Tate had moved slightly closer to you, boxing you in against the aisle. He was so close you could smell him, the scent of tobacco smoke and cheap whiskey so strong it made your nose crinkle. There was something else about his smell you couldn't quite place. Something almost metallic. 
You seem mighty on edge. I get it. Stores can be quite spooky after hours. Yeah, and also if some big, very attractive man is just like, you know, like this, over me in an aisle, I would be, you know? He moved his hands to your sides, resting them on either uh, side of you against the aisle. Your fight or flight reflects the screaming in your head as the huge man trapped you like an animal. You weren't sure if you should stop him or not. His strong, musky smell combined with your fear was making you lightheaded as you stared into his eyes. <laughs> Yo, it's like, I, I don't even have to read all of the text to know it's the music. The music told me, mm, we're about to, um, Uh, damn. <laughs> right here? Damn. <laughs> damn. Um. <laughs> Ooh. I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. Just. Just read it. It's not. It's not that serious. Just go. It's not real. It's fine. <laughs> Just breathe. Hey, hey now, it's alright, just relax. You want me to stop, or...? Uh, honestly... No. <laughs> That's my answer, no. Don't, don't tell me they're gonna make me choose. And then I gotta do this again. Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Hey, suddenly grabbed, uh... <laughs> Tate suddenly grabbed under your... Bottom. And hoisted you up, your bottom pressed against the various items on the shelf behind you, knocking many down with the clatter. With a clatter. Let me visualize. We're good. Oh wow. Oh, he's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These pictures—they're like—they're crazy, bro. They're crazy. He only gets rid of the text, that's weird. Um, this, I don't know, like, uh, he's big. <laughs> uh, this might not be in the video, but if it is, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. His body pressed against you instantly, warmed you as you let him pin you against the shelves. Or up. Your head was swimming in panic, but your body was giving into him as you breathed him in. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Come on, sweetheart. Have a little fun with me. I'll make it worth your while. I got all night. <laughs> Don't you know it. Don't you know it. You let your worries melt away as you let the man who might as well have still been a stranger to you uh, fill you up. It was certainly persuasive, you had to admit. Yeah. Yeah. As you moved your hands against his soft but firm chest. <sighs> Lucky bitch. Um, <laughs> pressing and kneading his ample pecs. You know, I usually like to take things a bit slower than this, but you're just making it too hard for me. What? That wasn't slow? I got half a mind to tear into you right now. Where's the other half? Let me find it for you. His voice was so rough in your ears it made you shiver as he rip nipped at your throat. Me just forgetting he just ripped off our finger a couple seconds ago? Your body was screaming for him to go further, but it felt like he was testing you, teasing you more and more with his rough, calloused fingers. What were you doing? He thought as, you, as he shoved his hand under your shirt. There were scratches down your back. Damn. I need a pedicure, bro. Or no, what is it called? Manicure? Uh, you run your hands along his thick muscular arms. Damn! Again. <laughs> this bitch is lucky. Your fingers brushing against his deep scars. Damn! You could hear his breathing getting rougher as you made your way to his side, squeezing his f- Damn! Oh my gosh. This shit is unfair. That should be me, bro. He was certainly built. D yeah, no shit. 
but she could feel the soft layer of fat that made him pleasantly squish. I'm so mad right now. Just move on. You're driving me insane. Yeah. <laughs> me too. He bucked his hips against you, grinding himself roughly. Um, yeah. Y yep. Mm hmm. Even through all the layers of clothes between the two of you. The words are there. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I can't read everything. Yo! Yo, you know that part of the shirt that's like right here? Right? Peel it back. <laughs> Let me see something real quick. Just really quick. It'll be like so quick. A millisecond even. Your hands continue to wander across Tate's body until you finally... Yup. Is it in or out of pants? I'm asking the real questions here. Drawing out a low guttural growl from the man in front of you. Those hands of yours, I... God damn. Don't remind me. Just shh. Just shush. Tate was, um... Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure out which parts I should read. Tate was bucking against you harder as your hand rubbed him to his pant- to his apron. You could feel- yep. That's the part that I won't read. I'm gonna keep it on the screen for one more second, and we're gone. Wait. Why was this- Oh! What?! Wait, why was it so wet? He was wearing at least two layers of clothes right now. In your haze, you slowly butt your hands back up. Bro. Ah, oh boy. Alright. I forgot. Gotta get snapped back to reality, right? I was... The back of my mind, I was like, apron. That's where the blood is. Of course, I didn't say it, but there it is, right there. Blood. He stopped moving, and you finally placed where that metallic smell was coming from. Well, ain't that. <laughs> God damn it, you're right. Yes. That's what I meant. Yes, Tate. That's what I meant. Ain't that a goddamn mood killer? Leave it to Vic to be. Damn, that's that's really bad. Dang, I sorry. This is terrible. How was that his fault though? You know what? We started to push against him to shove him away from you, but he was solid like a wall. Yeah, we're a little too late for that. Ah. <sighs> What a shame. Get off of me. As you wish. Oh, really? Tate spat the pet name as he said it. Something that felt so sweet. Felt feeling rotten and vile to you now. As he lifted you up. Off the aisle before turning you around. Your limbs failing and attempt to get away from him. He kept a firm grip on your thighs as he held you in the aisle. You came closer to him and pressing a rough kiss against kissed kiss against the side of your face before throwing you hard onto Dang Well you weren't supposed to start getting scared until later, but I yeah You best start um getting scared immediately. Your mind was reeling in confusion as you started as you stared up to him up at him like a frightened deer. Oh, look at that. Hey hungrily watching you try to Catch your bearings, the realization flooding into you. I'm gonna start running, rabbit. Where? Tate takes a step towards you and your body floods with adrenaline, quickly lifting yourself off the cold floor and turning on your heel. Dash towards the exit. The one that's stuck? This dude is... <laughs> you can hear Tate laughing maniacally behind you as you search for any means of getting out or even protecting yourself. Suddenly, you remember Vic's stool and race over to grab it before turning the door. Oh, we're just gonna throw it? 
What if it's like that type of glass that makes things bounce off of it instead? Is that bulletproof glass? You swing the stool at the glass door as hard as you can. Oh no! Oh no! That's gonna take like three more of those! You raise the stool to swing again, but you feel it get roughly pulled out of your hands from behind you. God! Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get anywhere swinging like that. Dang. Oh wow. Maniacal! Before you can react. You're whirled around and being lifted by the throat by one very strong hand. You try to dig your nails into the skin, but your blood-soaked gloves impede any damage you might have done. It ain't nice to tease a dog with a piece of meat. Uh, I guess I'll have, I'll just have to have fun with you. Somewhere else. Ain't that right? What? Don't call me that. Don't. Disrespectful. I I welcomed it. And what did you say? That rude. The hand on your throat continues to tighten as your legs. Seems, yeah. I'm gonna really save our time together. Go real slow, which, um, I'm gonna take you apart. That's all. That's always nice. Peace. Bye. Peace. Dramatic. And everything went black. Of course. Now we wake up. Let's scream for him now that he really likes us. To to increase the likeness. You know? Don't need to look around the room. Don't really care. Uh oh. Now we are going to We're gonna keep being nice. Uh, and then I would like to pick the right card. Let's say no. And then pick the right card. The right card. It looked back and forth from the card. To yep. Look at you. Ace of Diamonds. That's too bad. In my favorite card. That's stupid. This is such a dumb game. <laughs> This game is dumb. Uh, we can skip all this. Oh wait! Never been much of an ace guy, too predictable. Everyone to be sure says the aces are their card. Okay. We know this though. Everything is basically the same. So yeah, that was any- every other choice. That I didn't make, and then the ending at the beginning. I honestly can't wait for this to come out fully. There's really nothing wrong with this game, except for the fact that there's no H key. Because while I'm playing, I would like to see the full CGs instead of having to wait to go to the gallery and then, you know. But I hopefully that gets fixed when it, the full game comes out. So if you guys enjoyed that, you know, leave a nice comment. Leave a <laughs> Leave a nice like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time.